You shouldn't. Oh, come on. It'll be fine. What are you talking about? I'm, re I, I, I'm, I'm confident this time. <laughs> I'm confident that this, is, this has to work, right? This has to work. Okay, let's go. We got the winglets at the top this time. And at the bottom as well. Straight as an arrow, baby. We're gonna go straight up like an arrow, and then we're gonna once we've decoupled, we're gonna we're gonna adjust to 90. And do it like that. What could go wrong? Your boosters remove, move the fins around until your center mass ball is inside the aerodynamic center. Okay. We'll try that one after. Okay, this is looking good right now. This is looking really good. We're ready to decouple. Nice and straight. No deviation so far. Right? Right. So now we should just be able to... Oh, oh no! The minute we tilted, the minute we tilted, I, it feels like we're bottom heavy, guys. It feels like we're bottom heavy. Oh, hang on though. Oh no, you guys. I think you're right. I think we are top heavy. Okay, don't panic. We might still be able to do this. We just have to like... What? There, okay, we stabilized. Oh. Stay on target. There we go. Okay, we're staying on target. We don't want to use too much of our fuel. God, we did flop around a lot there though. I think we're going to use up too much of our fuel, potentially. Oh god, I used up way too much fuel there. I was pressing the wrong button. I don't think we're going to have enough to, to, to burn into, into orbit now. Maybe we did need some more fuel tanks. Maybe fuel, maybe more fuel tanks will help actually. Do you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Guys, I'm, I'm scared and I'm confused. It's fine though. We got this. Man, why are we struggling so much today? I guess like it's a slightly different craft, right? We just have to like get used to it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna burn like closer to the AP this time. Because I think maybe we started a bit too early last time. We might have started a bit too early last time. That's the only thing. I don't think we're gonna have enough fuel to do it. Remember my second stage. Okay, we can we can try the second stage. Though I don't think we want to waste too much fuel, right? We still have fuel and another engine. I know, but we need that to get... I guess we never... We don't need to come back. So you're, you guys are right. We still might be able to do this. Am I right to just get into like, uh, like a, a lower orbit first? And then work my way out? It's a long way to work out to. But we just need to like... Same, the same way that we like intersected with the moons orbit right we just have to like plop ourselves into that orbit we can do a maneuver and it should be fine okay we'll try it try it boys it may just be a case of doing a maneuver Sort of kind of happening. We're almost out of fuel though. Okay, so now we detach. Okay, de 
attach complete? Okay. Looking good? Looking good! Right! Okay, so... Now all we want to do is a maneuver from here to try to get us into this orbit, right? Yes? Okay, we did get into orbit. It was a little bit shaky and, and maybe it shouldn't have happened, but we did it. Alright, so we want to try to do this thing from the AP, right? We want to add a maneuver here, which is going to... Maybe from like here, right? Because we want to try to get to the to the PE. But wait, how do we like? Oh, do I need to? So do I just need to like match this? It's not just a case of like dipping into that, is it? Because there's nothing that's going to actually um, hold us there, right? We have to like try to make it so that the circle is the same. Is that right? P. You're going to need to do two burns. First at P and the second at AP. Okay. I don't know why I would need to do that though. I don't get it. I just need to make this circle bigger, right? So if I do it like this and then I get to the AP, then I burn to, to, to widen the circle out. Is that right? And then I go back around a little bit and then burn again just to get it right. Yes. Yeah, second burn at AP. Okay. No, angle of PP. Make your AP touch the pink line, and then you go to the AP burn again to push the P to the purple line as well. Okay, gotcha. Okay, we're going to need to adjust this as well. It's going to have to come out and down, right? Because it has to get in precisely into this orbit. Is that right? Oh fuck, this is gonna be so hard. Holy shit. Oh my god, guys. This is a fucking nightmare. How the hell do we do this with these things? How the shit are we going to do this? <laughs> oh my god. Please. Please. It has to be in this exact one, right? I can't get it to touch the line. I can't get it down. No, it's not that one. That's tilting it the wrong way. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
It doesn't matter like what angle you look at it from as well, it's always wrong. So I can get it like on the pink line there, but it's not actually touching the pink line. Because it has to like go down a bit. That's like tilting it. Why can't I just move it straight down? Am I missing one? That like I'm not I'm not understanding? Like that that's just like tilting. It's not putting it down at all. It's just tilting it. I don't want it to tilt. I just want it to I want the whole thing to just go down. Which button is that? Oh, this is annoying. I don't know how I'm going to do this. That just goes like side to side. Is there like a better way to do this? You only fix the inclination where the two lines cross. That's not how physics work. I don't care how physics work. I just want this this game to line up these stupid fucking lines. It's got nothing to do with physics. Just move the fucking lines game. Christ. Okay, where are we where are we doing this maneuver from? From PE? Move the blue. The blue one. The blue one. Okay. There's two blue ones. Which blue one am I moving? You gotta be specific. You can't just say the blue one. Oh. Huh. Oh. Is that better? That's like right on the line now, isn't it? Now I can just like move it back a little bit. Okay, I think I've touched the pink line possibly. I've come very close to touching the pink line. I think it just has to go up ever so slightly. Okay, and now how do I... Okay, now it's not touching. Still not touching. Okay, it's kind of touching there. Is that okay, just like that? Do I need to like, rotate it just a little bit to the side? Close enough, right? Oh, fuck. I don't know. Is that okay like that? It's fine. Stop fucking with it. What do you mean stop fucking with it? We have to get onto the right thing, right? We have to have, like, the right elevation. Okay. Good. Okay, so we're, we're committed to this one. We're committed to this maneuver. So we're gonna need to, um... We're gonna need to get into position. And then we're gonna have to maneuver towards this. We're gonna have to burn for 35 seconds. So we gotta do it at T minus, like, 12 seconds. Is that right? T minus 12 seconds? Okay. Close enough, NASA 2018, yeah. Might want to extend the antenna. The burn time is wrong. I don't think the burn time is wrong, is it?
I'll double check. Oh, it's 57 seconds. Okay. So we want to do it at like T minus what? What's what's half of 57? 20. Help me math. We'll just do it at like what? Like 20, 27 seconds? T minus 27 seconds? That doesn't seem right though. That's a lot of burn, isn't it? It's a lot of burn. No, 28.5. Okay, we'll do it at 28 then. Are we are we really doing this at 28? All right, it's coming up in a minute. Are you guys ready? Here goes all our fuel. All right, we'll do it. 28. Text Houston for spoilers. All right, good. Good. We got this. Got this. We got a full burn. Oh, I missed it. Fuck, I missed it. We're gonna have to go around again. We don't have that much fuel, right? We gotta be careful. Oh god. Do we have to add another maneuver? Have we missed the window now? It's never gonna change though, right? It should be fine. Okay, warp around again. No. Warp around again. I don't want to redo this maneuver for fuck's sake. Okay, let's just warp. We'll just do a manual warp. The maneuver's the same, right? Too late? Why don't I just go? Because you have to do it at the maneuver time. We, we went over it. I want to do it right. If you want to do it, you got to do it right. There's a problem with the flanges. I don't know what that means. I don't know what a flange is, okay? Stop trying to bamboozle me with your fancy science talk, alright? It's not gonna work. Okay. Alright. 31 minutes! Ships oh. look at the little symbols as thrust directions. Imagine it theoretically, your spaceship is sitting still on the node while orbiting. When right. you pull a symbol in a specific direction you start thrusting in that direction and that changes your orbit. You can thrust me. Okay, I'm gonna just start burning. I'm gonna try to do this manually, okay? Because I don't want to set up the node again. I'm just gonna try to wing it. Like now. We don't want to use up too much fuel, but it is happening. It's getting to where it needs to go, sort of. It's fine, guys. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Okay. Good. Kinda? No? You gotta follow the blue. Yeah, I am following the blue. It's fine, we're close. We're close, we got plenty of fuel to do this, right? Should be fine. Okay, so this can go now. So now we're gonna go out over to here, and then when we get to the AP, we're gonna burn again, right? So we're gonna add a maneuver here so that we that's better isn't it that's what we're gonna do is that too big now we just have to get this thing like matching up with this other one which is gonna be impossible right no so you can fix your inclination at AP that is the worst possible place to do it. Maybe burn a bit more. I don't know how to do that. Pop
pop all cooldowns and don't stand in the fire. It'll work. It'll work, but it's not going to get it exact, though, right? And it's going to go, it's going to be too big. So we're going to have to burn again somewhere to just adjust it a little bit more. It's close, but it's not like spot on, right? Changing the inclination is hard. So just do what feels right. If in doubt, just burn a bit. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, right. Fix inclination 90 degrees from AP. I don't know how to fix the inclination. I don't know which one fixes the inclination. I don't know if you noticed, chat, but there's six, there's six icons here, and I don't know what a single one of them does. So telling me to fix the inclination is... You might as well just be speaking Swahili to me right now. I have no idea what you're talking about. Which purple one? Okay. Again, chat. There's two purple ones. You can't just say the purple one. That doesn't make no sense to me. <laughs> it makes no fucking sense. The purple triangle? Right. Okay. Thanks. That's all it took. Perfect. Okay. So that... So the inclination has changed a little bit now, but still like not, not right on, right? What? Look at the little symbols that thrust as thrust directions. Imagine it theoretically your spaceship is still still on the node while orbiting. When you pull a symbol in a specific direction, you start thrusting in that direction and that changes your orbit. Okay, Jacob, thanks. That, that kind of makes sense, I guess, but maybe not. How do we get this, like, exactly like the other one? Do we have to try to just do this all from here? Oh, I feel like we're so close. Yet so far away. It's like not it's 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 really close though, guys, isn't it? Look, we've almost got this. We've almost got it. I just need to make some li little adjustments. What's the best angle to view it at? Cause it's like a total mess right now. Do the tilt after. It's good. You think that that's good? Do this burn and then adjust the tilt after we've done the burn? That's fine. You're close, but we'll never get perfect view because there, because you're not even touching the orbit. You guys are, it doesn't, it doesn't need to be perfect. That's fine. Something is wrong with my left phalange. It doesn't need to be perfect for the contract. Oh, okay. I thought it had to be like spot on. So this is going to be fine. Reach the designated geosynchronous orbit around Kerbin with minimal deviation. It says minimal deviation though. All right. So, um for this next maneuver, we don't want to miss the um miss the the time for the burn, right? We don't want to miss the burn time. Okay, so let's go. Okay, it's 37. So we're gonna do it at what? T minus 16. Just try to maneuver onto the purple orbit and then tilt later when you are aligned. Uh, you'll never match the inclination exactly because the point you're rotating from is above the line. Rotate midway. Okay, listen. Try the thing that makes the back end go whoosh. Okay, 18. What did I say? 16? What? What? 18. What did I say? Okay. T minus 18. Gotcha. Whoa, the note is still in eight minutes. Oh, fuck me. Did I put them in the note on here?
Okay, no, that's fine. Okay. So we're going for T minus 18, right? T minus 18. And it's still not going to get us quite perfect, but... There's a little deviation. Okay. Are we ready? We have to burn for 50 seconds. T minus 18. 25. Just do it now. Oh yeah, sure, yeah, it's not 18. It's, 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 it's updated to 50, so it's 25. Okay, we'll do it at 25. You ready? I got it. I got it. I'm doing it. Hey, Jacob, thanks for the 10 bucks, man. And uh, for the 10 bucks before as well. I appreciate it. Okay, let's go. We're burning. We've got plenty of fuel to do this. This is, it, it, it's a little bit like finicky and frustrating, but it is fun. It is very fun. Let's see how we're looking. Okay. Not bad. Not bad, chat. Not bad. We're kind of where we need to be, sort of. Now, do we need to do another maneuver? Not bad at all. Follow the blue thing. It's annoying but satisfying when you do something. Yeah, it is. There goes the blue marker. It's like almost on, right? Do we need to adjust a little bit? Just leave it? Warp a quarter of the way around. Okay, we haven't reached the designated key geosynchronous orbit around Kerbin yet. But we have warped a quarter of the way around. Make a new node at DN. Okay. And what's this maneuver going to do? Tighten the bolts a bit. Tighten the bolts a little bit, but not too much. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do I get it to like... Aha! Aha! Yes! 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 Yes, I have a good feeling, guys. I feel like maybe we're almost there. Oh. 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 Still not quite, though. Still not quite. So close, though, right? Angle of the dangle. What? It's working. We're get we're almost there. Only touch triangles. <laughs> touch triangles. I think we did pretty good here actually. That's looking pretty good to me. It's pretty good. Only do the tilt maneuver. 
I'm thinking that that's pretty good. I think that's minimal deviation right there, boys. I think that's fine. I'm happy with that. Are we going to adjust like that? Perfect. Yes. Okay, good. All right. So what are we at? Estimated burns just two seconds. Is that right? It's five seconds. So T minus two seconds. We'll go for it. Okay. T minus two seconds. And then we might, we might actually do this. It took a little bit of fucking around, but I think it was fine in the end. Okay, let's position ourselves. For this this is basically Twitch Plays KSP. It is. You're right. You're very observant. Thanks, Waste Mindu. Um, thanks for the uh, 10 bucks. I appreciate it. So, T minus 2 seconds. Okay, we have to warp a little bit. We'll warp a little bit more. Okay, perfect. It's perfect. Nice. Alright, are you guys ready? The dark blue marker. Yeah, I'm on it right now. I'm on it right now. Poor Tom Hanks. T minus two. We're all ready. Oh, I have to follow the marker. I did follow the marker. I'm on. I'm, I'm pointing at the marker right now. Oh fuck. Okay, it's six seconds. And maybe it's not perfect. You mean that blue one? I didn't realize that it moved off. Okay. So we had to. We have to start doing it now. We did it. We've done it. That's it. We just have to maintain stability. We did it! Oh, fuck! That is awesome. Holy shit. Okay. Do we separate off now or do we just leave it like this? We can just leave it like this, right? It's got enough fuel to come back and crash into the earth if it ever needs to. Oh, man. We got a satellite in this, in this, into orbit around Kerbin. And it's perfect. It's fucking perfect! Holy shit! Oh, boys. We actually did it. We positioned a satellite in geosynchronous orbit of Kerbin. Look at it go. It's just up here doing stuff. It's just up here doing stuff. Let's open it up so that it can do its readings and stuff. That's safe, right? We'll open it up so that it can do all of its readings. Let's extend this thing as well. Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That is so good. Okay, it was a little bit rough and rocky, but we managed to get there in the end. Perfect. So now anytime... Let's go back to the space center. So we... So that's up there forever now. That's up there unless something hits it, right? Unless something hits it. So if we go to the tracking station now, we should be... Yeah, we can see. Look. It's up here. The unmanned Riceroni Mark III. It's up there doing stuff. Ah, oh, shit. That is so good. That is so good, isn't it? Oh, fuck. We did it, boys. It was a bit rough. It was a bit rough. Maybe it shouldn't have worked. But we did it. What about the solar panels? They're on there. They're on there doing doing its doing their job, right? We didn't have to do anything. Oh, what do you mean, like extend them out? Can you can you extend them? Hang on, let's go check. No, they're just working. The solar panels are fine. They're getting they're getting all the power. The battery should be fine. Yeah, it's fine. 
Good. No, we're good. Fuck, that's awesome. Those don't extend. Okay. They're static panels, right? There are ones that do extend, right? Like later on. Okay, so um, so we've done this mission now. We didn't get like any science or anything for it, which is fine. I, I guess if we would have put like a communications thing, we could have sent science back, but we've done all those science experiments already, right? I think we've already gotten all of this science. And anyway, I don't think we can... Tr I don't think... Um, will the antenna be able to transmit back? Oh, yeah. Transmitting this experiment from under this module inoperable. Restoring functionality will require a scientist. Are you sure you want to continue? Not really, actually. If I transmit it, we'll get 0% science value, right? So it's not even worth doing it? I haven't done the materials way. Send the science back from the, oh, from the actual science thing, you mean? From here. Ah, I see. Materials study while in space. The high radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. It looks like it would be fun to paint the rocket with this. So if we send this back, we're going to get a whole bunch of science. Done. Perfect. Nice. That's amazing. So we got that science now. Turn off the SAS? To save power? Really? Do we have to do that? Isn't it just going to start like flopping around like crazy though? Okay, I've turned off the SAS as well. Okay, good, good. So, and that contract's complete now. So we should have some more money. Yeah, we do, 561,000. So we got paid. That was great. That was really good. Okay, we have to plant a flag on the moon and science data from the surface of the moon. Okay, let's accept it. And let's accept this one as well. Okay. Is there anything else that we need to do? Explore Kerbin. We have to park two vessels next to each other around Kerbin. We'll do that one later, I think. All right, it might be time for us to try to go to the moon, guys. That's the next, that's the next one. Time to land on the sun. No, it's gonna be just the moon, actually. All right, so, okay. So we need a command pod for this one and we need to give it some we need to we need it to have some some landing things so hang on how does this work then is it much the same as the way that we just did the um the satellite where we have a fuel tank we have like a little a little um liquid fuel engine at the at the bottom of it and then the, the landing things and then the command thing that's it is that what we're going to land on the moon with just one guy no Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. I got I have 82 science. I think I have the landing thing already. I've got this one here. Um the LT1 landing strut. May have been originally designed as a heavy duty metal detector, but this landing leg certainly emphasizes an important fact in surface landings. You don't need to put a crater in the ground to stop yourself. That's the one. And we got a new heat shield as well. So do we pretty much have everything that we need to actually land on the moon then with that? We don't need to do any more science because I can't afford to get any of this stuff. The only thing I could afford is to this aviation one, right? So we're good. Make sure you have enough fuel to get back. Now it's a good time to learn to use the fuel ducts and ditch the solid rocket boosters. Right. So we're not going to use solid rocket boosters for this one? Okay. But... The rice, the big bad rice moon flyby boy got us to the moon and we did all of our moon stuff on there, right? Actually, it wasn't that one. It was the... 
It was this one. Oh no, that wasn't the one. What the hell? It was 35 part, 36 parts. Oh shit, I think we lost the one that had the, um, the bay on it. The, the little bay. Okay, so hang on, what were you saying? Make a cool plane. Test the lander first, then build the rocket. Test the lander first. Oh, can we just, what do you mean? We can just do that like outside on the, on the launch, launch pad? You think the rips are gonna be unbearable going to the moon? I, I'm, I'm confident enough getting into orbit around the moon. And once we've done that, it's just a case of, of, of landing on, onto the moon, which shouldn't be too bad. I think, I think fuel is going to be a problem, though. I don't think I'll have enough fuel to do it. I could just test it out on the launch pad. It's already been to the moon twice in orbit. I'm sure landing will be fine. You can't parachute to the moon. No, I know that. We have to do, like, lunar lander, right? We have to, like... We have to, like... We have to, like, go in, like bottom first and then and then like go like tsh, 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 and sort of like slow our, our landing down sort of thing is that what we have to do i just don't know and then we need a little bit of fuel obviously to take back off uh, off the moon as well which is going to take a little bit of fuel i'm not quite sure how we're going to do that and then we have to what once we've once we've done that though once we take off the moon, we don't need to reattach to anything or anything like that, right? Or could we like maybe like dock with something that's in orbit around the moon and get some more fuel from it or something? Suicide burn. I have no pubes. I know I have pubes. Going to the moon is actually pretty easy, but you need good good tower minimus would be easier since it's good. Well, I want to go to the moon though. Use the little side engines for the lander. You need a lot less fuel to get back. Okay. Okay. Landing is the hardest. The re-entry to Earth is easy. Don't need to reattach. Just waste of fuel. Landing and taking off uses a shit ton of fuel. Make sure lander is light. Getting back to base takes a lot less fuel. Okay. So. What, was he, what were you saying before about not using solid boosters? I feel like we still need to use the solid boosters. Actually, I think that this whole thing is fine right we just want to like test out potentially the landing portion but using fuel ducts to what okay i'm not going to minmus i'm not doing it i'm going to the moon send a satellite with a docking port on ahead to dock with that has some extra fuel that could be kind of cool actually a suicide burn is when you burn right before impact you do it late to save fuel all right okay Dick is already in orbit around the moon. Well, we have to plan it out a little bit, right? If you're gonna go do a rendezvous around the moon, you should practice it around Kerbin first. Okay, we won't do that. Hey, Sips, you could rendezvous with my orbiting Dick and retreat for me. It would be really grateful. Okay, thanks. So, so how do these landers work? It's this one, right? This is the one, the LT-1 landing strut. Are those things just gonna fall off when we take off though? Do we have to like hide them in something? Start from scratch. Okay. Don't save. Okay, we're starting from scratch. All right, so first things first. I feel like we need the, um, the solid boosters. You just put them on radially and press the gear button, usually G. You'll want to, you'll want a pilot and a science curve, okay. All right, so hang on a second. So if we're just going to test things out, is this fuel tank okay? That one's way too big, isn't it? What engine are we going to use? Just this one? Just the Terrier? Is that okay for getting onto the moon? With this? And then... We, get, we need a decoupler. 
And then we're gonna need a um, command pod, right? Wait, before we do that, though, we're also gonna want one of these service bay things, right? If we're going to the moon, we're gonna want some samples and stuff. Do we want the science junior? Or do we just want the service base so we can do all the other readings and stuff? Where the fuck does that even come under? Where the fuck is it? Is it this? Oh yeah, service bay. Right? Good? And we want a ladder on the side too. Oh yeah, we need a heat shield. Yeah, you're right. Fucking heat shield for sure. Let's go for the big one. It's a bit too big actually. Let's go for this one. Okay. Um, and then we want these, um, we want these landing struts too, right? Is that going to be enough? What do we want? Three? Is that enough? It's fine. Wrong side of the science bay. What are you talking about? Where's the ladder? There's a ladder too, right? We, we need to make sure that he can actually climb all the way down. Does that come under structural? Utility. A crew cabin. We can't just take one guy, right? Science Bay will explode on re-entry. You need to unlock the ladder. It's utility. Oh, I don't have the ladder yet. Where does that come under? Okay, let's save this so we can leave. I don't think I have the ladder yet. These are all plain bits. It's not this. Oh, it's under this. Oh, we're still, we're a little bit short on science. We might have to do another mission and get this. We need these ladders, right? We need these ladders. See if we can do a, another quick mission to get some science from it. Explore Kerbin. Ferry for tourists. Test the Robmax Model S2 splash down a Kerbin. Hey Sips, hey. Uncle Ben from Uncle Ben's Rice Company here. Can we get a rocket named Uncle Ben's Extra Spicy Rice or only? Yeah. There's an extra spicy offer in it for you. Okay, Mark. Wink, wink. That'll be our, our to the moon and landing on the moon one, okay? We'll do that. No need for ladders. Moon gravity allows you to use your jetpack on the surface. Ah, of course. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. Okay. That's fine then. That's fine. We don't need ladders. Okay. So, so this is what we're going to land on the moon with. Right? This is what we're going to land on the moon with? Okay, Jip. So if I just like launch this and, and try to land it. Oh God, hang on a second. I screwed up the um, revert flight back to vehicle assembly. This is never gonna work though, is it? No, put the heat shield under the science bay, otherwise it'll explode. Oh yeah, you're right, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay. Done it. It's under this it's under this the science bay. Okay, so we're gonna test this, right? I might be missing a parachute. Oh fuck yeah, I am missing a parachute, you're right. Just in case shit gets too extreme up there, we're gonna have to put on the parachute. Where is the parachute again? Utility.
Wait, we need a uh, battery and stuff too, right? We can put that all on after. Okay. All right, we have the parachute now as well. Good. So that, that, and then that. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, let's get Jeb in here and test it out. Nope. Solars and battery would be good if you're going to go up to get science, science equipment. Yeah, we're going to put all that on after. We're just going to test out these struts and see the landing struts and see if they actually work. See, see how we do this. Because uh, I don't know how we're going to do it yet. We just want to, like, take off a little bit. And then, what is it, G? Okay. Sure. Okay. Let's go. I don't think we can take off with this thing. It's, like, not powerful enough. Gra the, the gravity on Earth is, is too much. <laughs> Wait, does that mean we're not going to be able to get off uh, off the moon as well? Or is it because we got these things on? Well, they're going to have to be on anyway, though, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> You'll be fine on the moon? Okay. Fine, fuck it. We'll just we'll test it out, out on the moon, okay. We'll be fine. It uh, it's, it's... Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this so far, but we need some more stuff on here. We need to put all the science equipment in. We're going to need the rechargeable battery bank here as well. Perfect. We got to get some solar panels up on this bitch as well. Uh, so let's do that. Where are the solar panels? That's them. Okay, some solar panels. Nice. Um, we have to open this bad boy up. Put in all of our scientific stuff. We have to put a whole bunch of science-y stuff in here. Such as the mystery goo container. We don't want two of them. All right, mystery goo, good. The thermometer. Let's put that bad boy in here. Okay, let's also get the the barometer in here. Good. Do we need an antenna? Do we want to send anything back? There's not really any experiments that we want to send back from. We're going to collect a sample, so we're going to need what? A storage unit? Storage unit's quite big, isn't it? Like, where the hell are... Oh, can it just go in the middle here? Oh, that's kind of good. You can hide it in the middle. That's good. Does that work? Is it fine like that? The barometer is useless. You can keep the science in the capsule. You might want you might need an antenna if you're gonna die and you want to send back the science. Antenna is only needed if you want to send stuff. No, I don't really want to send anything. I don't think we're gonna, we're planning on coming back. Okay, so all of our science and stuff is good. We have some power and stuff as well. Uh, we have two solar panels and a battery. More parachutes for my heavy craft. They're not needed. It's fine. We got these landing struts. And is that is this fuel tank going to be enough to get us off the moon? A lunar lander is pretty small, right? When you use fuel ducts, you want to have a you want to have liquid fuel tanks and engines on the side of the rocket and have a feeding line of fuel from outer fuel tanks to the inward fuel tank. This saves a lot of fuel as you aren't carrying around empty fuel tanks. Get a smaller fuel tank. You have way too much in that big one, and it weighs a lot more. Bigger fuel tanks are less weighted. Th okay. All right, sure. So 
So we just need a smaller fuel tank. So what, like this one? This one's fine? Like that? Is that good? <coughs> Don't forget to hold space when landing. All right, I'll, I'll do that. I'll hold space while I'm landing. Make the lander a little wider. I don't know how to make it wider than this. No, make the... Yes. Thanks, Jacob. You're going to need much more fuel on the upper stage for a moon landing and return. Have you tried filling the fuel tank with oil? No, I haven't. I haven't actually done that. I could put some oil in there, though, and we can see what happens. All right, so we're good. Okay, so we're going to need a decoupler here as well. Okay, that's what's going to land on the moon. And now, to actually get to the moon as well, um, we're going to want a whole bunch of shit, right? So are we, uh, so we're we not going to use the solid boosters this time? No, we don't need a ladder, apparently. Fins. Don't forget a ladder. I hope there's a cow level on the moon. It's okay, Sips used to getting stranded in space. You definitely need a ladder. Apparently we don't need a ladder. Apparently we can our rocket pack will get us up to the up to the thing. Put flame decals on it to make it go super fast, okay. You don't need a ladder. Okay, good. Alright, so what so 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 I need to get better at using external fuel ducts, apparently. Um and we're gonna use all liquid engines to get up there. I kinda like using the boosters. Solid boosters are fine. Well, I mean, I'm happy with the solid boosters. I'm, I'm good with that. I think that that's fine. Okay. So, we want to get some fuel tanks. We want to get fuel tanks for the, um, what, like four of them? Is that how many we had last time? And the Reliant has better thrust than the Swivel. Or does it? I don't know. Maybe we just get the swivel then, because we can we can steer around better with it. Apparently, so four fuel tanks is that going to be enough to get us there? You need more fuel on the moon stage if you want to be able to return. If you ever run out of fuel, you get out and push with the Kerbals. Okay, make the lander wider. You might tip. I can't make it any wider. Don Corleone eight. I don't know how to do that. Right. Sure. Okay. Okay. So then we're gonna get some some couplers four couplers are we going with four this time again i guess we'll go with four since that's how we got there last time right and the thumpers and the dumpers the thumpers and the dumpers Okay, good. We'll put the nose cones on. Let's get these crappy fins on here as well. 